Chapter 7.2, Preparing a Balance Sheet. Once again, uh, as with previous lessons, we've been kind of working our way through the accounting cycle. Uh, last lesson, 7.1, we prepared the income statement. Now we're going to prepare the balance sheet. This is one of four uh, financial statements used by companies uh, that they prepare. Income statement, balance sheet, statement of cash flows, and statement of owner's equity. So let's take a look at it. A form is given below. The following information is obtained from the worksheet of Lens Laundry. So we're going to continue to work for Lens Laundry uh, for the month ending August 31st, the current year. Once again, all this information that we have, with the exception of our capital, will come strictly from the balance sheet. So it's really just moving it from the balance sheet on down. The capital will be a little bit different when we get into that uh, in here. If you notice down here on a balance sheet, the key that you want to remember is on a balance sheet, it's assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. So on the left hand side down at the bottom in our blank sheet here, we're going to use assets. On the right hand side, that's going to be our liabilities and owner's equity. And yes, they must equal the total of our assets, must equal the total of our liabilities plus our owner's equity and we'll give you some examples and show you how that works so so let's prepare it uh, first things first obviously when we're preparing our balance sheet we want to make sure we have the title correct so we do who in this case it's Len laundry and then we do what in this case we do balance sheet and then we do when and this balance sheet was taken August 31st 2000 whenever um, now we're going to basically we're going to prepare a balance sheet. So we start with our assets since on the balance sheet it's assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. So we're going to give us on the left hand side we're going to use assets. Notice there's no debits or credits here. Uh, this is just basically listing them out uh, since all of our assets will be there. So so let's go through our assets. So our first asset up on the top from our worksheet is our cash, and we and then our next one is accounts receivable. Natasha Goodland. Um, obviously, you will want to record the whole thing, but for space, I was not able to. Uh, accounts receivable. Robert Henry. Uh, supplies and prepaid insurance. So I'm going to put the title there. After I put the title there, I'm going to take all of them. I'm going to. I will add them up. Okay. But next, what I'll do is I will take my liabilities, and I'm going to put them on there. And that's on the right-hand side. Once again, let's go back. Why is it on the left-hand side? Because assets are on the left-hand side of the accounting equation. Why are the liabilities and owner's equity on the right-hand side of this uh, balance sheet? Because they're on the right-hand side. You may see balance sheet, as I'll show you in the next example for Chipotle, that will just be from top to bottom. Th that is also acceptable. Once again, it's assets equal liabilities. Uh, visually, we're using the left and right to give you the example so you understand that the where they are in the accounting equation and what has to work so kind of going back to chapter one so we're going to list our liabilities in this case we have two of them we have accounts payable tri-county supplies we have accounts payable west end supply company we're going to put the totals in there and then what we're going to do is we're going to draw a single line and we're going to put total liabilities which is 1100 next after liabilities we said that assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity so we're gonna put owner's equity in here and we must list our owner's equity now in owner's equity it's not as easy as the assets and liabilities and the reason being is is your capital is not the capital that you have on the balance sheet the reason it's not the capital on the balance sheet is because the capital listed on the balance sheet is from the beginning of the fiscal period it is not the current because if you take a look up on our worksheet on here Leonard Long he invested sure 6549 he also took out a thousand dollars for personal use and he also made 2924 in net income so that all goes towards his owner's equity so you have to be careful and do not do not do not record just capital from the worksheet you do have to actually create a little calculation it's a pretty simple calculation because you want the most current capital on the balance sheet so you take your capital from the worksheet in this case it's 6549 you're going to take your net income or loss, you know, as we saw in last chapter, you can have losses. Uh, in this case, it's a, it's a net income of plus 29.24. We're going to subtract that from the drawing, and that'll give us 84.73. And our capital on the balance sheet is 84.73. And that's how we got that. So once again, do not use the capital from the worksheet because that is not a current capital. That is a previous capital. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add these together and let's see our assets. If we total our assets, we're going to get 9583. 
Well, if we take our owners, our liabilities plus our owner's equity, that, that is our total liabilities and owner's equity, you will see quickly that it does equal 95.83. Our assets equal our liabilities plus owner's equity. We are in balance. If you're finding that your liabilities and owner's equity is off, it is extremely important. You're more than likely just recording capital from the balance sheet. Go back, recalculate it. Remember, capital plus your net income, less your drawing will get you there. Oftentimes you're just recording that. In this case, you'd be about $2,000 off if you, were, if you were doing it on your own. Make sure that you do go back and change that. Take a look, and then so therefore, they're verified and they're proven. We can draw our double lines at the bottom because hooray, we've done our work. Our work here is done. Our, our, we balance. Uh, take a look at Chipotle. I talked about that. If you take a look at their total assets, in this case, uh, in the first column, it's 1706, 205, 14. Then, once again, quickly go down to the bottom, take a look at their total liabilities and and shareholders' equity, and it, they match 1706, 205, 14, 255. Their assets equal their liabilities plus owner's equity. Hope this helps. Keep up the good work, and uh, see you soon.